you know, uh, 20, I don't know, it was 1989, so however many years ago that was. Um, 28, that's what you said? Boy, you got smart people here. Uh, I was going to have to get my calculator out on my phone to figure that out. I went to the doctor for a checkup and found out I had breast cancer. Well, I was out preaching faith. I, you know, I wasn't going to get breast cancer. I was praying for other people to be healed. And it was a very fast-growing type of cancer, little tiny tumor, but very fast-growing cancer. So I don't know how they would treat me today, but then they just said, you have to have a mastectomy. There's no messing around with this. That's just, that's just what you got to do. So here I went from being a woman of faith and power to being in the hospital, losing part of my body. Well, I had a decision to make. And probably some of you here today have a decision to make. And probably many of you watching television have a decision to make. I love what Paul said. He said, to live is Christ, to die is gain. You know, not, none of us want to die, but if you're a believer, you don't need to be afraid of it. Because honestly, if we read the Bible, things are going to get a whole lot better when we're not here than while we are here. So, when, when people that are born again leave this realm and they go home to be with the Lord, we're really not grieving for them, we're grieving for us. It's our loss that we're grieving for. And that's right and that's proper and there's not anything wrong with that. But there's a lot of really great things in the Bible that we can remember that will give us comfort. One of them being, when your time comes, you are going to see your loved ones again because they are not gone, they're just not here anymore. They're, they're with God at the right place. And so we need to realize that we can have a type of deep rest, a knowing that things are going to be okay. And I went through that when I had the breast cancer. At first, I was so scared, so scared. And I had to work through that and come to the point where I believed that God was in control of my life and he was going to take care of me no matter what. And you know what? I ended up, I didn't have to have any kind of chemo treatments, no kind of anything. They got everything. Every year, 28 years in a row now, I go and I get tested and every year, clean report, everything is great. Now, a few years ago, I was having some really serious back trouble. And um, so they finally decided that they were gonna look at my whole spine and they did some kind of a special test. And so they came back and they said, well, we need to do a further test. I forget now what they called it, but it was something where they just look at your whole body because they said, you've got some lesions on your spine that could be cancer that has metastasized from your breast cancer. Well, can you imagine how that made me feel? Oh my gosh. Well, got another decision to make. See, we're always making decisions, aren't we? About how we're gonna handle things and, and, and what, what we're gonna do. So once again, I have to say, well, God, I'm in your hands. I hope that's not the case, but I belong to you. I trust that you're gonna take care of me. And so you wait it out day by day by day. Well, so they did this test on my whole body, looked at my whole body, I think they call it a PET scan. And they came back and they said, well, interesting thing, it looks like on your spine, I love the way the world puts it, that, that you had cancer at one time, but somehow or another, it healed itself. Wow! <laughs> well, you can imagine how that made me feel. And so the good news is, is they looked at my whole body and they said, you don't have one tiny bit of cancer in there anywhere. So I got a good picture of the whole thing and came out of it feeling better than I did before I went in. 